Okay, Roger Mudfossil University, fabulous new research being done. This is in February of 2019, and I think they're starting to look into this. I hope they are, but I haven't seen any additional stuff. Now, this came from uh, Eric Jorgensen, a friend, and uh, this talks about the way the um, the neurons communicate in your body. And they always, oh, we know how they work. Well, no, no they don't. What they did was they took, uh, it, it, apparently they work through literal waves of of magnetism. So what they did was they took a mouse brain and they cut it right in half between where it's supposed to communicate and where it's supposed to receive the signals. And then they did this. It says to ensure the slice was completely cut, the two pieces of tissue were separated and then rejoined while a clear gap was observed under the microscope. So they got one piece here, one piece here. And this is supposed to talk to that piece. Well, they're not connected. So how does that happen? It says the slow hippocampal periodic. This is the, these are waves that they are these kind of slow waves that they see and they never could understand. So um, the slow hippocampal periodic activity could indeed generate on an event on the other side of a complete cut through whole slice. If you think it sounds freaky, the Review Committee of Journal of Physiology, they, they said no, 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 no. They wanted it done over again before they would print anything, so they did it again. Sure enough, Paul did the same thing. Uh, it was a jaw-dropping moment, Duran said, for us and for every scientist we told about this so far. They couldn't believe it. But every experiment we've done since to test, it has confirmed it's so, exactly what it's doing. So what is that communication between tissue that is totally separated? How does that send that signal over to the other side of that brain? All right, think about it for a minute. All right, now here's where I come in. I've been complaining about 5G, that they haven't tested it adequately. You know, it could be fine, but I don't think so. The, the, my, my contention is, is that whenever you are shaking molecules and especially water because everything that we do relates to water that is our medium that is the medium you live in if you don't have that water you're done and what is in that water every single thing that moves through your body everything that moves every single thing now what are we doing with this frequencies of shaken literally shaken matter your matter and the matter that I really, the, to me, matters is the water. Right? That's the matter that matters. Now, what frequency are we talking about? Well, microwaves. It's in this 5G. Microwaves are designed not to be allowed into the Earth's atmosphere. There's a protective coating of water molecules and that's what happens because this is what's going to happen it's going to say water molecules going to absorb that frequency that's what happens and so you it never normally gets to the earth from space well we're going to force it into you by putting these because they're not going to be able to travel very far they're going to have to put them saturate these things all over the place to force that radiation into the water molecules which you are part of now, this shows that you don't even have to have a chunk of your brain touching the other chunk of your brain to make it communicate. It is communicating through radiation. I don't care how you can possibly make any other determination. There is no other determination. If you make another determination, you are fooling yourself. So, my point is, what does this end up what is the end result when you get to 5g and you're getting your, your all your stuff is coming to you as fast as it can be and it's saturating the air everywhere around you you're walking through this 5g soup they're just shaking the hell out of everything now my real concern originally was for the seeds and the insects and the bacteria which have almost no protection from this whatsoever and they are the most important thing we have. 
they they control our lives. Just believe me, that scum of the life control, the scum of the world controls our lives. And we don't know what's gonna. I don't know what's gonna happen there. Maybe they do, but I don't. And I haven't seen any research that points the way that uh, everything's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at this because I think I've made my point that not only are the insects in, in terrible trouble and the bacteria and the seeds and all of those things that rely on the very tiniest amounts of water that will be shaken violently. I don't care. There's no way you can do it without it. You know, they say, oh, it's not invasive, it's not ionizing, it's all this stuff. Well, that, I don't know if that's necessarily have anything to do with causing damage to the tissues. Why do you have to shoot ions off? Like, you know, they, they're saying, well, there's no nuclear bomb going off here, so we don't care about these little uh, incendiaries. No. To pay attention to everything. Let's test it. That's all I'm saying. So, I guess I'll close the case for today. I love you. God bless you. Keep informed here. And, by the way, John Slutton, one of the guys that I really have a lot of respect for here, is opening the first Mud Fossil University and we're going to call it the bamboo and mortar. <laughs> it's down in the Amazon. And they, they're finishing it up right now. They're doing a building and all that stuff. He's doing a nice job. Nice guy. And they're going to have a um, professor from, the, uh, from a university. And then they're going to have the shaman. And then they're going to discuss what is really reality. I hope that's the way it goes down. Now, I'm not involved there. I just am going to try to assist the best I can. And, uh, and I hope these things come go here and there. You know, I have other people that I'm hoping they'll show an interest too. Like down there, these these are the Shipibo Indian uh, tribe down there, the, the the indigenous people, and they own their own country, really. I mean, that's so. And he's been granted, uh, I guess he's got some property, and they gave him tax status and all that stuff. So they they take somebody's taking an interest out down there. And again, I'm not involved in. I don't really know the details of it, but I do know that it's going forward, and it should be within a week or so. You know, he sent me the pictures. They're, they're nice paintings and everything. He even got my name on the wall, you know, which was not necessary, but very nice. Anyway, um, it's all going. It's going to happen. It's, it's, it has to happen because it's truth. Please look for the truth. That's all I'm saying. All right. The truth is very interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a lot more fun than the uh, than what we've been fed. I can tell you that. It's more interesting anyway. I don't know what the end result's going to be, but I got a feeling. The end result is going to be very, very consequential. It has been for me.